Hi everyone, it's Raina. So this series of videos is on Venus in various signs. And this particular video is Venus in Gemini. And if you don't know what sign your Venus is in, I don't know why you clicked on that ahead of time, but maybe you were thinking that it's the same as your sun sign, which it very well could be. But what you can do is go down below this video and there will be a link to the list of Venus placements and you don't have to plug in any information. Sometimes you do have to know your time of birth because Venus changes signs sometimes within one day, but uh, just check it out and uh, see wh what you get. Venus can never be very far from the sun. It can only be in the same sign or two signs behind or two signs in front. So you cannot have somebody who is a sun in Gemini and has Venus in Capricorn. So having said that, what is Venus in Gemini like? Well, we know that Gemini is an air sign. So Venus is the goddess of love. It has to do with beauty. It has to do with everything related to art, to the aesthetics in life. And Gemini has to do with anything intellectual, communication, and wordplay. Venus and Gemini people love to flirt. They love to have little jokes with the people that they are interested in. They can be very fickle because Gemini is a mutable air sign. And air signs are very sociable. So they love to flit from flower to flower looking for honey. And I'm saying this in a facetious way, talking about, you know, possible love interests, but even um, in general, that social butterfly tendency of all of the air signs that I have witnessed is definitely present in Venus and Gemini, because actually Venus can be your friendships. It doesn't have to be just your romantic interests. So Venus and Gemini likes to be lighthearted. So we can compare it to like Venus and Scorpio, which is very intense and takes love very seriously. Venus and Gemini can take love almost too lighthearted at times, and they want to keep things a little bit too shallow. This will be modified depending on what the sun sign is in. So I will get into that in a moment. But this is one reason why you may have somebody even like a, a sun sign cancer who has Venus and Gemini, and they may be more changeable in their affections than they normally would be if they were a sun in cancer and had Taurus as the Venus sign, for instance, or have, or have, uh, or if they have uh, Venus in Leo. So, the nice thing about Venus and Gemini is it's a lot of fun. People who have this placement, because Venus can be amusements, it can be the things you like to do for fun. And with uh, Gemini, there can be all kinds of things. The person is very versatile in terms of what they like to do. So they may be the kind of person who likes to go to concerts, but they also like sports. They're not like um, just fixated on one type of uh, entertainment. They may have uh, varied interests, and they may be very intelligent and witty and amusing to be around. So they can be great company. They can be very clever and very sociable, the kind of people you like to bring to a party and they are invite to a party. <laughs> um, and they are very independent. Do not, they don't like possessiveness. So you may get somebody who has a son in cancer and is typically 
enjoying that sense of belonging to a partner, but if they have Venus in Gemini, they may be less inclined to enjoy that. If you have the Sun in Gemini as well as Venus in Gemini, then you are super independent and you may find it hard to settle down, not only because you're physically you know, here, there, and everywhere, but you're also somebody who may be afraid of commitment because you're afraid you're going to lose your freedom. You may also have a tendency to be very much in your head and being romantic may not be something that comes very easily to you and that feels comfortable. And so the other party may feel like you're too abstract about it, that you may talk about your relationship, but you don't really feel your feelings and you don't really share them. You know, you don't really emote. You just kind of uh, analyze more than anything else. And it may be hard for you to really commit to somebody. If your sun is in Aries, Venus and Gemini can make you more flexible and less, you know, demanding and, you know, having, needing to have things your own way. It can make you less irascible. In other words, uh, quick to anger. Although sometimes they say that air, f uh, fans flames, you know, so if you, if you mix uh, fire and air, that can really, uh, fan the flames, um, more. Uh, but I would say that when you have Venus in Gemini, you may have a cooler head in certain regards, at least in your relationship. And I think that's a great combination for really an entertaining person, somebody that's a lot of fun to be around. If you have the sun in Taurus, this may make you less possessive. This may make you more flexible. And, you know, I, you know, I was going to say, like, if you have the sun in Aries, we would say less about flexibility and more about cooperation. And with Taurus, it would be more about being more flexible. And this would make you more valuing the intellect and especially when it comes to a partner, you know, versus just like, wow, that person's really hot and I want to get with them because they're hot. Thinking, wow, that person's sexy because they have a great mind and I'm really in love with them because I'm in love with their mind. And um, this, this can make somebody with a sun in Taurus be more mobile, be more adventurous in terms of trying new things. Taurus people tend to be like, if they like a certain type of food, they're going to eat that food all the time and da da da. But if they have Venus in Gemini, they may be more willing to try new things and be more adventurous in that sense. And as I said, less possessive, which is always nice. So it can be a good combination. But in, you know, one thing though is it could make them more flirtatious and then that could lead to having, wanting to have uh, different partners. If the sun is in cancer, this can make the, the person less domestic. You know, cancer, we, we associate with um, the home environment. Cancer rules the fourth house of home and family. So maybe the person is more um, interested in uh, relationships, uh, not, you know, being less tied down, and maybe not even um, having that, yeah, not even having that commitment and not having uh, automatically wanting a family, being more interested in just pursuing a relationship for the sake of relationship and and that sort of thing, that this can definitely make the person more changeable because cancer people are changeable. They're ruled by the moon, so they can go through a lot. Now, with them, a lot of times it's moodiness, you know, it's about the emotions. But with uh, Venus, we're talking about who they're into. So if you have somebody who is a son in cancer and you're friends with them and they have 
uh, Venus in Gemini, they may be telling you, you know, each week about the, the, the person they're in love with. You know, one week they're in love with this person, the next week not so much. And now maybe they go to the next person and they go back. But really, it's still, they still will be focused on the emotional component. Um, but they may connect with that person in a more intellectual or abstract way. The other thing, too, is that they may have a more lighthearted attitude towards love. Um, cancer is a very sentimental sign. It's emotional because it's a water sign. So it's introducing that element of air, and that's really good for keeping things a little bit less maudlin, overly sentimental, and more, you know, fun and enjoying love in a very free-spirited kind of way. If the sun is in Leo, the person can be less fixed, just kind of like Taurus in a lot of ways, because Leo, Leo sometimes can be also jealous in their relationships. And because of their fixed nature, Leos are known as being loyal. This is true for all of the fixed signs. So we have Leo, we have Aquarius, we have Taurus and Scorpio, all fixed signs known for that stability in, in whatever area, if it's a sun sign or Venus sign. But the thing about this is that having Venus and Gemini with that sun and Leo is a great combination because it can make the person more flexible, although they can be more flirtatious. And Leo is another sign that I associate with being very sensual. And so this can also lead to somebody who has a tendency to kind of go from flower to flower. But there's, there's a lot of charisma with this combination. The person can be very charming and fun to be around because Leo rules the fifth house of um, enjoyments that we associate with Venus, with that, um, with the uh, pastimes like plays and and uh, any kind of concerts, things like that. And Venus, of course, has that artistic component, and um, and the fifth house is all about creativity. So it really can lend itself to somebody who is fun to be around. Um, you may do things with this person. If you are this combination, you can find that you have a great deal of charm, charisma, and people respond very well to you. So I hope you enjoyed this. And uh, if you'd like a personal reading, uh, you can look below this video. There's a link to rainandmoonastrology.com. That's my website. Take care, you guys. Bye.